Support for NPR comes from Zurich, providing risk management and insurance solutions for those who truly love their business. Learn more at ZurichNA.com. Support for WICN comes from listeners like you. Thank you. Every day here at 90.5, we continue the tradition of giving you the world's best jazz. And today, it gets even better, as New England's top jazz artists perform for you live in the WICN Performance Studio. This is Live Jazz New England. Here's your host, jazz pianist Pamela Hines. Well, good afternoon and welcome to Live Jazz New England. I'm your host, Pamela Hines. And my guest today is a West Coast vocalist who has recently made Boston her new home, Isabel Stover. Her jazz roots began in the Oakland Jazz Choir, a 30-voice vocal big band in the San Francisco Bay Area with whom she performed at Yoshi's in San Francisco and many California jazz festivals. She studied at the Jazz School in Berkeley, California, where she worked with acclaimed vocalists and educators such as Madeline Eastman and Kitty Mar Margolis. As her skills improved, she performed in many San Francisco jazz spots, including Anna's Jazz Island and Ava Nova. Stover's musical skills were polished by years of study with Lori Antonioli, Pamela Rose, and Stephanie Bruce. In 2010, she moved east to Boston, where she studied at New England Conservatory's Continuing Education Program. And today on Live Jazz New England, Isabel will perform some of her tunes from her new release, her own sweet world, and she'll have the support of Christopher Brown on guitar and Derek Van Warmer on bass. And one of the things you're going to pick up by listening to the CD is her use of phrasing, where she'll sing a lyric in, a, in kind of a linear way rather than from chord change to chord change. And um, uh, this is from um, studying with some of these masters out in California. And we're going to find out more about all these wonderful teachers with whom Isabel has studied. But right now, let's get right to the music. This is a Sam Rivers, who is a Boston native. Um, this is one of his tunes. This is called Beatrice, and Isabel wrote the lyrics to this tune. It's not the way she feels with both her arms around me. It's not the thing she says at all that intrigue me. But the way she knows me, that's the reason I'm so in love with this girl it ain't the tender look she casts in my direction it's not the shy goodbyes that always keep me guessing my life's new meaning she's shown me that's the reason i'm so in love with this woman Thank you. 
the way she feels with both her arms around me. It's not the thing she says at all that intrigue me, but the way she knows me, that's the reason I'm so in love with this girl. It ain't the tender looks she casts in my direction. It's not the shy goodbyes that always keep me guessing. My life has new meaning and that is what she has shown me. That's the reason I'm so in love with this woman. That's the reason I'm so in love with this woman. That's the reason I'm so in love with this woman. Thank you. <laughs> this um, this next tune is um, it's called American Boy, uh, <laughs> um, by it's a pop, it's a pop tune uh, by Estelle and Kanye. So we have a, a our own take on it. Hey boy, I want you to be my love. Take me on a trip I'd like to go someday. Take me to New York, I'd love to see LA. I really want to come and kick it with you. You'll be my American boy, he said. Hey sister, it's nice to meet ya. I just met this guy, he's just my type. Mm, I like the way he's speaking, confidence is peaking. Don't like his baggy jeans, but I won't like what's underneath. And no, I ain't been to MIA. I've heard that Cali never rains and New York is wide awake over to the west and take me to your brethren. I'm liking this American boy, American boy. Will you be my love, American boy? Will you be my love? Take me to Broadway, let's go shopping. Maybe then we'll go to a cafe on the subway. Take me to your hood. I've never been to Brooklyn and I like to see what's good. Dressed in all your fancy clothes. Sneakers looking fresh to death. I'm loving those shell toes. I'm walking that walk. Mm, talking that slick talk. I'm liking this American boy. American boy Will you be my love? 
American boy Will you be Will you be my love Take me on a trip I'd like to go someday Take me to New York I'd love to see LA I really want to Come and kick it with you You'll be my American boy American boy Will you be my love, American boy? Will you be my love, American boy? Thank you. This tune is a is a Thelonious Monk tune called Mysterioso that I wrote lyrics to. When I see you, I don't see you Cause I'm blinded and closed-minded Heart is racing, sense is reeling Can't tell which way to be feeling Only knowing nothing but Confusion and despair Thank you. 
Around my fear of losing all the loving that I once knew. The more I put it out there, baby, the less I recognize it in you. You see, your passion is so great, you've confused it with hate. Tell me what to do. When I hear you, I don't hear you. Criticizing waves capsizing Games that we play, words in the way Ever knowing curtains closing I'm resigning all on this And perfect love affair Dum bum bum dum bum dum da dum Thank you. You know, the term that comes to mind for me when I'm listening to you and listening to your arrangements is vocally courageous. You know, <laughs> first of all, how did you come up with, uh, I can hear how the chord changes in American Boy would lead you to want to make it a jazz arrangement. That's the first thing. It's like, oh my God, it, it just it pops right out at you as something t that can be turned into something jazz. Mm -hmm. But what? how did you come across that and, and uh, arrange it like you did? In, in Mysterioso? No, in, uh, in American Boy. In other words, you, I, I noticed you had like a 6-8 thing going on there for a little while. And um, so was that your arrangement of American Boy? Yes, we, we've we um, incorporated, you know, some of the, the fun aspects of, of the, the pop tune and kind of added some a different time feel in the beginning. And were, you you, were you listening to the radio and going, oh, I got to do something with that. Is yeah. that how you sort of came yeah. up? Yeah. Yeah. And, and her, her tunes kind of are going in that direction. They, mm -hmm. they really um, uh, are open enough to that we can kind of explore it in a jazz way. So mm -hmm. that, was, that was really cool. I never Thank heard you. it done that way. So that was awesome. Um, so uh, in Mysterioso, mm -hmm. uh, you added your own lyrics. And again, you uh, have this um, courage to take the chance with, the, with uh, you know, bouncing off the bass and, and the two melody lines, sharing the melody lines like you did. And that's a you know, just a wonderful um, arrangement of it. And how did you, what was your thought process on that? Well, actually, I, I heard a recording of this um, once. I was just, I was on an airplane ride and spent many hours, you know, just zoning out on my on my iPod. And I had um, a recording of this that I didn't even know I had. It was a live recording. Um, and Monk was playing this melody in duet with the saxophone player so they were they were each playing these two notes in this in this melody um and i was thinking as i was listening to it i really something was really intriguing about about this play between these two musicians and with monk's kind of quirky playing style and the saxophone player was kind of you know missing the time a little bit too and and it kind of sounded like they were two people having a discussion and a kind of heated or passionate discussion so I just I started thinking about 
a relationship between two people and and um and kind of a romantic situation and so I thought well I'll write lyrics to the song so um that was the inspiration and I I was I was I tried to do it first with the melody which is um this interval of the root and the sixth and it just is a repeating pattern over and over again but it was too hard to fit lyrics in with that quick change so what I did was just take the top note of the whole melody um and use that basically as the as the new melody um to which I wrote lyrics and it's based on that um inspiration of this what I call imperfect love affair. So that's the name of the tune now. I can see you sort of swaying back and forth <laughs> with your bass player too. It's, it's yeah. fun to watch you yeah. do it too. We want to remind our listeners that you're um, listening to Live Jazz New England on 90.5 WICN and I'm your host Pamela Hines and my guest today is Isabel Stover and Christopher Brown is on guitar and Derek Ben Warmer is on bass. Um, so these teachers, all these teachers out in California, who who taught you your unique phrasing style? That sort of displaced thing. It's it's again, it's conversational. It's sort of like the, your approach to Misterioso. Um, your your phrasing style is very linear. It's very flowing, and it you know it it goes over the measures instead of you know, okay, now I sing this one, and you know the, to this beat and that beat. It's a ve- has a very flowing kind of style to it. And where did you learn that? Well, um, phrasing is really, it's, it's really everything, um, for me. And it's, it's, I just want to say that, you know, I approach music from a completely emotional perspective. Um, that's because I believe the purpose of music is to make people feel. And when people hear music, they experience every emotion under the sun, um, and lyrics give people a way of interpreting their emotions and give meaning to them by connecting to their own experience. So when I sing, I want to use my words to deeply touch people. And the way that I sing a particular lyric is key. So um, I start by writing down the lyrics and um, thinking about them and as I would say them to someone as opposed to singing them according to the actual notes and the measures. So in speaking, we might speed up or slow down, or we might emphasize certain words. Right. Um, and so this is the same ap- approach that I use in my phrasing. Yeah. Um, and so I, you know, you know that I studied for years at the jazz school at, in Berkeley, which is now known as the California Jazz Conservatory. Um, but it's an amazing place where I was fortunate enough to have some really amazing teachers, which you, you mentioned a few of them already, but, um, but, uh, I was, I was just looking through some of my old notes from some of my classes, um, in preparation for this. And I, I just, I was blown away seeing, you know, workshop with Bobby McFerrin, workshop with, uh, Sheila Jordan, workshop with Nancy King, Mark Murphy, um, Kurt Elling and Lawrence Hobgood so it, it wasn't just you know one or two teachers it was just all of these amazing people that that come through this place um, which is a great community of very talented people but I will say that uh, there's Mark Murphy uh, was a San Francisco person back in the late 70s early 80s and and uh, Madeline Eastman, Kitty Margolis, and Lori Antonioli, all of whom I've studied with at one time, were his protégés, actually, and they used to come and sit in with him at his regular gigs. And so he is a master of phrasing. He's my one of my absolute favorites. And um, so he kind of, you know, he taught them. They are teaching us. And so where he's the king of phrasing, um, Madeline Eastman, I've taken, I went to one of her voice shop retreats, and she's really the queen of phrasing. She she sings in a very conversational style mm-hmm. that's really, I think, sh- her own, her own style. And um, sh- so she, you know, she has this uh, technical thing that she teaches people, actually. It's uh, hurry up and wait 
something in smush and I knowing her she's probably trademarked it so yeah. I'm sorry if I'm butchering it but it's um you know literally just stretching out and then hurrying up and speeding up and yeah, yeah. I get that sense from so the, from where you're yeah things. and she would run drills too through the form and just have the piano player run drills through the form through the form and we'd practice you know coming coming in at different times singing through the turnaround ah. singing you know starting the song oh. like at the beginning of the turnaround, starting way after, you know, so. Wow, what a great exercise. That's, I want to try that one. <laughs> um, well, uh, we've got, you, now you've put together a medley for kids on your CD, and again, her um, CD is called Her Own Sweet Way. It's, it's available now on CD Baby, so you can get that. Um, so we have this um, four-song tune, Four for Kids, that you put together. Why don't you tell us about that? Yes, um, so... This tune is is very uh, personal t tune to me. It's um, something that I I arranged around the time that I was about to have my second child, and um, it's three tunes. It's um, well, it's four tunes really. It's a child is born by Thad Jones, Waltz for Debbie by Bill Evans, and Little Niles by Randy Weston. And then I wrote lyrics to A Child is Born, and it's that, that is entitled Peace Child. So the whole thing is called Four for Kids. And I wrote the lyrics sort of, and the whole thing is sort of in dedication to my children and the experience of becoming a mother, so. the dawn into the light this child innocent child soft as a fawn this child is born one small heart one pair of eyes, one work of art, here in my arms, here he lies, trusting and warm, blessed is this bond. A child is born In her own sweet world Populated by dolls and clowns and a prince and that big purple bear lives my favorite girl unaware of the worried frowns that us weary grown-ups are Dances to silent music, songs that are spun of gold, unaware in her own little head. Someday, all too soon, she'll grow up and she'll leave her dolls and her prince and that silly old bear when she goes they will cry as she whispers goodbye they will miss her i fear but then so will
Little Niles, every little boy in one, and so much fun. Little Niles, half a man and half a child, and when he smiles, like all children everywhere, he's living truth, for truth is part of youth, and when you feel contentment surround you, you know he's around you. Little Niles warms your heart and cheers your day in every way. Little Niles, he's forever on the go and never slow. When you hold him close to you, you realize there's heaven in his eyes. You can't imagine your life without him. You're so wild about him. There are days when his mischievous ways make you shout and wears your patience out. Still you know you'll stand his every whim just because you see yourself in him. Little Niles walking round and acting tall although he's small. Little Niles helpless in his childhood woes and infant trials. When the play of day is done you hold him tight to warm him through the night and silently you wish time would slow up so he'd never grow up. Niles. Now body is healed, spirit renewed, holding no wounds this time, another time, another chance, a child is born. Even now, these truths have been shown. How will I know how big a change a life will see? My little one, who will you be? Peace, child. To me, thank you. Thanks, Pamela, for playing with me on that. I haven't been playing with piano players lately, so it's a, it's a pleasure. Thanks, it was a kick for me to be on there, for sure. Um, so what, what do you have next for us? Um, we have... If You Never Come to Me, Jobim Tune. There's no use of a moonlight glow on the peaks where winter snows. What's the use of the waves that will break in the cool of the evening? What is the evening without you? It's nothing. And it may be 
that you will never come. And if you never come to me, what's the use of my wonderful dreams? And why would they need me? Where would they lead me without you to nowhere? of the waves that will break in the cool of the evening what is the evening without you it's nothing and if If you never come to me, what's the use of my wonderful dreams? And why would they need me? Where would they lead me without you to nowhere? To nowhere. Listening to Live Jazz New England on 90.5 WICN. I'm your host, Pamela Hines, and my guest today is Isabel Stover with Christopher Brown on guitar and Derek Van Wormer on bass. Um, so we want, we want to get to the CD here and make sure we get information out to folks about uh, where they can get it. Now, this CD was recorded in Oakland or? Yes, well, Richmond, California, Richmond. which okay. is right, yep, right next to Oakland in Berkeley. And um, uh, let, let, let me first ask you about mm -hmm. that. Who was your personnel on the CD uh, for the um, recording? So um, my teacher and mentor, Stephanie Bruce, um, helped me produce the CD. And um, it was it was recorded at Bellboy Studios in Richmond with Dave Bell. And um, Kurt Moore played the drums. Jonathan Alford played the piano. Fred Randolph was on bass. And Dave Tidball on sax. There's some nice positive chemistry. I really enjoyed the um, CD, and the, again, the arrangements are, are all wonderful. So I'm, you know, excited to see what you're going to come up with next with your arrangements. <laughs> they're just um, they're just really fun to listen to and very original. You know, very um, and in that way, it's very exciting to to hear that kind of freshness. Um, so where can um, we purchase your CD? And do you have a website? And how can people? I do have a website. It's www.isabelstover.com. Um, and you can um, click a link from the CD, uh, from the website rather, um, which will take you to cdbaby.com, and that's, or you can just go to www.cdbaby.com/slash Isabel Stover. Um, you can also download it on iTunes um, 
or on Amazon. And where can people catch a performance of you coming up? Well, we are, my trio and I are, um, we perform regularly around the Boston area at uh, Birch Street Bistro in Roslindale. We're there um, once a month. Usually it's the first Sunday of every month. And we p also play at Tosca in Hingham and at a social restaurant and bar in Newton, um, the third Thursday of every month usually. And I'm also going to be um, playing in October with the Lance Houston Quartet um, at the Battery Lounge at the Fairmount Battery Wharf on October 18th. Excellent. Yes. Well, um, we have a few more minutes here. What would you like to um, play next? Something from the CD or, or something from your performing? Something that we, that we enjoy doing. It's Moon Ray. Excellent. Yeah. There's nothing left but to dream of things. Why did I say goodbye to love? There's something wrong with the scheme of things. Won't you listen to my plea, old moon above me? Moon Ray, cast your spell upon my lover Under this starlit cover Use all your magic charms Moon Ray, let your sweet enchantment bind him And I will wake to find him Here in my lonely arms once we knew the joy of girl in love with boy but he made a toy of our romance moon ray put an end to all my sorrows bless me with sweet tomorrows bring back my love to me
once we knew the joy of girl in love with boy but he made a toy out of our romance moon ray put an end to all my sorrows bless me with sweet tomorrows bring back my love your eyes rest your head on my shoulder and sleep close your eyes and I will close mine close your eyes let's pretend that we're both counting sheep close your eyes cause this is divine music play something dreamy for dancing now we hear romancing it's love's holiday and love will be our guide when you close your eyes and you open them dear i'll be here right by your side when you close your eyes your eyes, your eyes, oh, your eyes were such a nice surprise when we said goodbye for the first time. La da no no we those eyes. From that one single stare, I became aware that I was hypnotized right into your eyes. Don't go those eyes When you open them, dear, I'll be here right by your side When you close your eyes your head on my shoulder and sleep close your eyes and I will close mine close your eyes let's pretend that we're both counting sheep close your eyes cuz this is divine music play Something dreamy for dancing, now we're here romancing. It's love's holiday, and love will be our guide. 
when you close your eyes and you open them dear i'll be here right by your side when you close your eyes well, i'd like to thank isabel when stover chris brown Derek Van Warmer for performing live on the show today. You can purchase Isabel's new CD at CD Baby and see her live at the Birch Street Bistro on October 5th, and that's the trio, and then October 18th at the Battery Wharf with the Lance Houston Quartet. My thanks to Chet Williamson on sound, John Marable at the control board, and general manager Jerry Weston. You can view photos and listen to highlights of the shows by liking Live Jazz New England on Facebook. Until next time, this is Pamela Hines for Live Jazz New England on 90.5 WICN, Jazz Plus for New England.